Alrighty. Good morning, friends. Welcome to another vlog. We are in Seattle this time. We happen to be here in the coldest weekend of the winter, so I'm a little bit worried. I'll pack mittens, but hopefully we'll be able to be okay. I think that the trip will be pretty chill. We have like a skeleton itinerary, but nothing like super set. I'm feeling really, really excited. I haven't traveled in the winter in such a long time, so it feels like a new experience, especially because it's so cold. Surprisingly, I think I am like accepting and melancholic about the cold for some reason. So maybe it's a travel high, maybe it's just Seattle, and maybe I just missed winter some shape or form. Yeah. I'm gonna head out to the island, being British Island, so I'll catch you there. Bainbridge Island is about a 30 minute ferry ride from Seattle. The ticket to the island is around $10 and the trip back is free. This was the first time we saw a view of the city, so this felt really special. Thankfully, there was no rain or snow during our trip, so it was nice to see peaks of blue sky in a city known for cooling. The views from the ferry are amazing, but it was so dang cold, I couldn't feel my face. But it's just one of those things you just have to do. And before we knew it, we made it to Bainbridge Island. So we made it to Bainbridge Island. It's so cold. I lost one of my gloves in the, in the ferry. But it's okay because it's nice to have one free hand. We're gonna get coffee with Pegasus. Me and Eugene are in high need for it. Pegasus is a local cozy coffee shop that we wanted to check out. After having some hot coffee in our system, we are ready to explore. We stopped by waterfront views and ended up at Sakai Park. We can be held. Like how you can be held. Bye, Pia. It's so cold. This walk might have been a mistake though. We were literally the only ones here because it was so stinking cold, but it was very pretty. We needed something warm and soupy, so we opted for basa for an early dinner of dumplings and pho. Recharged and ready to go. We found ourselves at the Bainbridge Museum of Arts. Entry is free, so do stop by if your schedule allows. It's nice to see local artwork, and they had a money tree with handwritten wishes. It was so cute to read them, and I hope that all of these are granted in some shape or form. The evening started to approach, so we decided that it was time to head back into the city. We actually saw Mount Rainier here for the first time. So beautiful, isn't it? After the 30 minute ferry ride, we made it back into the city. We are now arriving at our destination. Injun got a parfait. Soft serve for me and Johnny. The reason we're here in Seattle is for the Joe Hisaishi concert. He's mostly known for his studio Ghibli music. It was magical to hear his music live, some original pieces, and then Princess Mononoke. In honor of the concert, we watched the movie back at the Airbnb. Good morning. It's another day in Seattle. Today is going to be the Pike Place day. We might do Space Needle, but TBD. Feeling a bit tired. It was really, 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 really cool yesterday. I think it's gonna be just as cool. So I'm gonna get brunch with one of my friends, and then afterwards I'm gonna reconnect with the group at Pike Place. So that's what's coming up next. 
I met up with my old friend Brian who lives in Seattle. I hadn't seen him in years, so it was nice to catch up over brunch. Afterwards, we walked over to Green Lake. Didn't spend too much time out here because it was so cold and I had to go catch up with the others at Pike Place. Powder was very hearty and warm. I quite like the seafood bisque, so I'd recommend that along with their New England corn powder. Next stop is Beecher's for mac and cheese. I stole a bite from Yinjin's and it was really good. It has a sharper cheese taste, which I thought was very yummy. After mac and cheese, we're here for Poroski Poroski. made it to Seattle Center and now we're gonna go to the Chihuly Garden and Glass. Apparently it's quite the thing to do so I'm excited. I've never been to a glass museum so it felt very unique. I really appreciated the technique of glass blowing and the colors and shapes that were used. Here is the most famous piece. It's definitely more ethereal in person. Now we're going to the Museum of Pop Culture, which is like only five minute walking. Everything's super close by. This museum felt more quirky and fun. I learned that Nirvana came from the Seattle area. I don't listen to them, so I'm not an expert by any means. We stepped into the sci-fi area and it felt very nostalgic to see props and objects from familiar shows and movies. Instant regret as I walked into the horror section? Definitely not for me. I don't like this part. Not at all. Not on this. Kind of like Minecraft, right? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Play games in here. Is the engine? They had real life models and props from Leica Studios, which specialize in stop motion. It was really cute. We're gonna go up there. Oh, so our Seattle trip featured a lot of beautiful views of the city, starting with the ferry and now here at the top of the Space Needle and later at Gasworks Park. It was surreal to catch the sunset from here. They also had a glass floor section which made me want to cry from fear, but I did it. I survived. How are you feeling? Uh, scared, but in awe. That's the ferry we took. <laughs> Dinner were these amazing hand pulled noodles, and we stopped by Starbucks Reserve and Roastery. It was huge. Not only did they have massive roasting machines, they also had a bar and bakery inside as well. My friends tried the whiskey and cold brew pairing, which was very interesting. Last stop for the day is REI. I've actually never been to an REI. Oh. It's my first time and it's the biggest one. They had everything outdoorsy that you could possibly need. Also some nice sale items and souvenirs that reflect the Pacific Northwest. Our last full day in Seattle starting with coffee at Overcast. This was my favorite cup of coffee from the trip. We ventured around the area, stopping by a record store and Elia Bay Books. This place is huge and they have a coffee shop inside as well. 
little off balance. We spent a good amount of time here before heading out to brunch at Opelos. It has a clean vintage aesthetic and the food was so good. I love my dish, the baked eggs. Overall, I really enjoyed this place. Dessert is ice cream. I don't know what we were thinking getting ice cream in this weather, but we just had to and it was so worth it. Cannot say no to strawberry ice cream. Exploring the city. There it is, the space needle. I knew Seattle is a place known for coffee, but I didn't know that they had a strong biking presence as well. And this coffee shop slash bike store called Rafa was a perfect representation of these two worlds colliding. This reminds me of Lord of the Rings. Third coffee shop of the day, Milstead. I actually ordered a hot cider instead of coffee. Definitely warmed me up and was tastefully sweet. It's very pretty. Very still. Mm, very still waters. Today is a chill day. Today we're literally going where our feet takes us and we walk past the prettiest view of Mount Rainier ever. Pink skies look so good on her. 10 out of 10. So cold. So we're heading over to Gaston's Park. I think we did basically everything that we wanted to do that was higher on our itinerary, but now we're gonna do all the chill, why not kind of things. But to be honest, I really wanted to go to Gasworks Park. Personally, I love the views from Gasworks Park. Maybe the twilight skies and glittering city lights brought out more melancholy in me. This is amazing. <laughs> so cold though. Something about the water paired with sparkling lights made my mind feel refreshed. It's nice to be still and present in these moments. Dinner is at Serious Pie, which is recommended by my friend Chini. We enjoyed our meal of pizza and salad. We couldn't say no to some coconut cream pie for dessert. Overall, Seattle felt very full but chill at the same time. Good food, great coffee, beautiful views, and lovely company. A very successful trip, I would say. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.